Hello. During this video, we'll take a quick look at the Cloud Air Adobe Captivate 8 sample course. This fictitious course allows the learner to practice serving customers in a highly emotional situation without losing their cool and helping the customer to keep his. This is an example of soft skills training using Captivate 8 and models how Captivate can be used to create scenario based courses. Let's take a look at how this was created. There are two main Adobe Captivate 8 features used in this course that I'd like to discuss. The first is geolocation, and the second is responsive course authoring. Let's start with geolocation. Let's go to slide number two and open the timeline. You'll notice there are two different groups here. One is called Header London Heathrow Airport, and the other one Header John F. Kennedy Airport. Now during this course, it will automatically recognize the learner's longitude and latitude. And based on that, it will show either the London or the John F. Kennedy banner. And then if I click on this group, you'll notice that this smart shape in here, which is this purple smart shape, actually has audio attached to it. So if you're within a certain radius of a longitude and latitude in England, you will see the purple banner and hear British audio. Otherwise, you will see this blue John F. Kennedy banner and hear American audio. Let's see how I did this. Let's go up to Project Advanced Actions. Choose Determine Geolocation. Here you'll see a variable called Geolocation. If that is equal to a new variable called UK Location, then it will show the London Heathrow banners, else it will show the John F. Kennedy banners. Now let's take a look at this variable here that I created. Let's go down to UK location. You can see that there's a longitude and latitude and then a radius set in meters. So you can use that geolocation variable and then show and hide and do all sorts of neat and creative things within your course. Okay, now let's talk about responsive course authoring. Now this is a really amazing feature of Captivate 8. You can create different content for different types of devices. Now when you start you go up to File New Project and you choose Responsive Project. When you do that, you'll notice across the top here, there are three different icons. Now, as you click on each one of these breakpoints, you will notice that the course content adjusts to fit the device's unique screen sizes. This allows you to visualize what your course will look like and how it will display on different screens while you're in the authoring mode. Now at each one of these breakpoints, you can completely change and move your content. So notice in the mobile view here, this is what the content looks like. And then if I click on primary, let me close this for you. You can see in primary view, it's got a picture, and this is how the course is laid out. Again, compared to the mobile view, where the picture got moved off to the side so that you had more space on the phone, to see this content. Now let's jump to slide number six and talk about positioning. So as you transition from primary to tablet and then to mobile, your content will shift and scale. This is how you control that. I'm going to click on this image and then open the properties. And then click on the position tab. Notice here that you can control the positioning of the item and then the size. So for example, this image will continue to be 100% of the height of the device while remaining 0% from the top and 0 from the left. So basically it's flush against the left and the top. However, this button here will actually change as we transition from breakpoints, as will this banner right here. Let's take a quick look. Let me close this. Now watch this image. She'll remain the same dimensions. However, watch the blue button down here. Notice how it gets more narrow. Now remember, as I mentioned earlier, 
as we hit different breakpoints, we can move and position content in different areas and create different sizes and even different text. So notice how that banner, that text banner, and this button, notice how they change position at that different breakpoint. Then as we go to mobile, notice that we made this button here a lot larger. Okay, now the last part that I want to talk about here in responsive projects is the preview. So if I go up to preview, you have a whole bunch of different options. However, if you do from this slide, next five slides, or the project, it'll open up in a browser window that lets you look at the different views of your course. Let's take a look. All right, so here I did a preview of five slides. And you can see right here the three different breakpoints. And as I click on those, I can take a look at what the content looks like and play the course. Now, once you're ready to publish your course, it's simple. Just come up here and click Publish and Publish for Devices. And then the course will automatically recognize your device and show the appropriate version of the course. You only need to publish one time. I hope that you've enjoyed this Captivate video. And I also hope that you have the opportunity to download this Captivate file and check it out for yourself.